This is approximately day three, I think. It's just, you know, poco a poco, as they say here, little by little, or vaga vaga, slowly, slowly. Um, feeling somewhat better. Uh, actually, it's just my leg. I feel great. It's just my leg, man. Uh, but uh, David and Lucas stopped by to say goodbye. They're going back to Sal. I'll miss them. My Danish Viking friends. They were really cool. They're taking off today. So, life of a sailor, you meet friends and then uh, they disappear until you meet them again. And we never say goodbye, we say see you later. So, see you later, Lucas, see you later, David. Fair winds, man. I was to be confined on my boat until my body decided to heal. How long will my penance be? Sentencing has yet to be pronounced. Well, Peter just brought over what was in my bag. I got swept away. I had this strapped around my shoulder. Yeah, well, it got wet. And inside, there was a few important things. I'm not too worried for most of the stuff. It sucks about my phone. And it sucks about my camera. Maybe somebody can wash it out over there in Mandela when I eventually get back there. Such is life. I paid the price. I wanted to get that great shot. Maybe there's something on the uh, memory card. I'm trying to take this Samsung Galaxy A10 uh, apart and see if I can clean out the salt. I went online to see if there was anything to be done. And of course there was. Take apart the phone and rinse the salt corrosion, then let it dry in the sun. And as far as my Sony Alpha camera, well, as you can imagine, it's no longer functioning. I have a second one, but the screen doesn't work on this one. Maybe I can make one good one out of two bad ones. Bottom line is, I need a new camera. So I'll be using my two GoPros and a new phone to film. The quality is not the same as you can see and hear in this episode. But my philosophy is, the paintbrush does not make the artist. It's been about a week. I'm able to sleep in my cabin but it's a chore to get in and out. Everything is so much harder to execute. How I took simple things for granted. I can make coffee. Yes, the sailor's favorite and a luxury for me. Could not do that in the hospital. Plus, I have some decent pain pills. These have codeine, but I have just a few, so I'll have to use them sparingly. And then the doctor prescribed just ibuprofen. The pain is still always there. The challenge is finding a position where there is the least amount of pain. I let myself go for a few days and nights. But today, I had to take cleansing matters into hand. But even taking a shower is a challenge. Peter and his crew decided to go back to Mindelo. So Alec came aboard to secure the dinghy and the outboard motor. Thank God these guys have been here. Alec and Peter saved my life. And now our Saving my recovering life. Uh, here we are. Alright, All right, we're good. Alright, you guys, bon voyage. Fair winds. Go, thank you guys. Peter lent me a phone so that I could be connected, and as well, they brought me a bunch of food and drink. Real lifesavers and true friends. I'll miss them. morning I got a surprise. Well I got news from the police that I have to move my boat. For some reason I'm too close so it's gonna be tough because I'm still 
not in a position to walk. So I've started the motor and I'll try to lift the anchor and move the boat. It's gonna be a tough one. So I've done the hardest. I've lifted the anchor. Uh, I crawled through my V-berth and up through the hatch there to go up onto the deck to uh, lift up the anchor. It's easier than walking up on deck. That's how I did it. Now I'm free. I'm gonna motor over to the place that the police want me to go to. Okay, I've motored to the spot. Now I just need to climb back up on the hatch, out of the hatch onto the deck and lower the anchor. Let's do it. backed up Gallopan to secure the anchor. It was holding. All was good. Or was it? Snubber line broke. No wonder I was making this rattling noise I didn't like very much. Well, it lasted almost a year this way. I thought I heard some strange noises coming from the bow. Now I knew what it was. I have plenty of spare line and it's an easy fix. I use a cow hitch knot. Works great because there's no friction. Okay, now we're ready to put this back up. New snubber line, and then I'm done. Well, I've done it. I've succeeded, even as a gimp. I'm all anchored. Snubber's on. Pretty quiet here. I'm next to uh, my old friend, Willie. I guess I still got another week or so to wait until I can less than hobble, let's say, walk. But I was able to move, re-anchor. I'm quite pleased with myself, so. So today is about day 18 since my accident, about two weeks confined to uh, the boat, to Galopin. It's kind of been a nice change to uh, just be alone and, and to be in exile, to be kind of in a forced exile. But it's been okay because I've got food, I've got stuff to drink and um, everything that I need for the moment and I've uh, been working on videos and other things so I've been keeping myself busy and slowly recovering. Yesterday was a nice hurdle for me because uh, I needed to charge up my batteries with the um, generator and I was able to get the generator out of this locker here onto the back bathing platform and start it up so that was a, it was a big deal for me. I also tried to fish I think I caught something, I was pulling it in, but line broke and it went. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm almost there. I can almost walk, as you can see. Uh, I still can't put full weight on this right leg. My bruising is almost gone. I bruised all over my groin area. It's quite, quite frightening, but I had a really serious case of blue balls. In other words, I had a black and blue cock and balls and that whole area uh, but now that's much better I figure maybe in two three days I can walk make my way to the police station Willie offered to to take me in his dinghy and get my papers and sail back to Mindelo conditions seem okay in the next few days so we'll see but I don't want to go until I'm I'd say 95% recovered I can walk up and down on the deck and and you know do most of the things i have to do when i'm sailing alone so 
so far so good I'm, I'm happy very important to keep a positive attitude there's no way I'm letting this bring me down and I'm not ending my voyage but it was close it was scary it could have been the end I mean uh, had I hit my head or my spinal cord it'd be over but you know it was actually a very lucky thing and a very good thing that that's how it happened and now you know my body's strong it seems to be healing and uh, it's just a matter of a little bit more time I have to be strong to recover. I had to dive in. It was another challenge that needed to be done and a welcome event in another long, uneventful day. Galapan's hull did not seem so bad. Still pretty clean. And a snubber was holding. Now, the hard part will be getting back up. Or will it? Yes, it was hard, but intensely satisfying. What a place to be convalescing and recuperating. And the solitude is underrated. It's actually quite nice to be alone. And here to pull on my gallopon. I am blessed to be here alive to enjoy every second of these long, warm days. And as it is, you're never really alone when sailing along. Obrigado, Capo Verde. You've been tough on me, but you've been also incredibly loving. <laughs>